Hello guys, welcome to our channel, The Collector's Hub. Today demo game is called Ari Buktu and the Anytime Elevator, developed and published by Adventure Works. This is a comedy adventure, where you play as Ari, a student swept through history by his quirky professor on a vibrant time-traveling quest for a lost treasure. This is a precise platformer with the classic adventure story. If you like this, and would like us to continue with it, consider give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, thank you. Ari! 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 We're here! What? Here? Where's... where are we? The beginning of the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, but... but Professor... Nari, welcome to... Well, that was anticlimactic. Wait, what? Uh, Where? Egypt, uh, apparently. Egypt? How'd we get all the way to Egypt? We were only in there for 10 seconds. We were in there for over 200 years. <laughs> well, we traveled over 200 years, so technically, we were in there for two... Uh, forget, forget, you get it, you get it. Uh, we, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we, uh, we, we, time traveled? We, what, we, in that? Uh-huh, the Anytime Elevator. And it worked! <laughs> Appears so. It's not like I intentionally landed us here, Julius. Okay. Okay, uh, but uh, you're gonna take us back to Kasdan. Uh, oh, yeah, right? of course, absolutely. Yes, we are going right back. Just, uh, just uh, give me a, give me a second. Well, that can't be good. Oh, do you think so? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. What do you mean, uh oh? Wait, 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 wait. We can't be here, Professor. We can't. I have to get back. I have school and homework and a date with Gabby and... Oh, no, I have a date with Gabby. Professor, we have to get back. Well, good news and bad news. So, uh, which do you want to hear first? Good. No, 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 bad. Wait, no. Good. Bad. Yeah, yeah, bad. Give me the bad. We're not going anywhere for at least a couple days. Couple of days? Oh man, Gabby's gonna kill me. What's the good news? The good news is, we get to explore 1800s Egypt! <laughs> Isn't that exciting? No, 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 we have to go home. Well, it's gonna take some time to repair the elevator. The transceiver took a beating on the right end. Let's just catch a plane home. Can't. Hasn't been invented yet. And you'd only be going to 1817 Glendale. Which, if history is at all accurate, is desert not much better than this. Or is Glendale a green valley? Oh, she's gonna kill me. We planned this date a month ago. Oh, don't worry. As soon as the time machine is back up and running, we'll just return back to the exact moment of departure. It'll be like you never left. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan. Yeah, and I'm the fool. All right. Now let's find a way out of here and get a better look at this place. You know, there was a time when all of this was under the Red Sea. I guess it's good we didn't travel back too far. Don't worry. I'm a cautious time traveler. I thought this was your first time. Well, yes, and so far I feel like I'm being reasonably cautious. But it's still early. <laughs> Hey, you go first. We'll be right behind you. I gotta get new friends. Get out of here. How'd you... Never mind. Oh, hey, Ari. What took you so long? Are you... <laughs> Forget it. Listen, you see that tower up there? Yeah, that would be a great place to get our bearings on our current location. How the heck are we gonna get up there? Easy. We're gonna have to scale this wall. Oh, yeah, that's uh, it's a piece of cake. All right, my boy. You first. Huh. Just hop on over there. This is what I get for wanting extra credit. Huh. You coming or what? I'll be right behind you. All right, easy peasy. Huh. Oh, there's got to be some sort of child labor law that covers this or something. Huh? Huh? <sighs> ah, no big deal. Just climbing rocks in old-timey Egypt. 
Huh. Huh. Hell, nice shortcut! Good thinking, Julius! How'd you get over there? Oh, never mind. <laughs> this way! Oh, uh, that's what I was gonna say. This way. You sure you can keep up, Professor? And this old scientist has got some moves, Ari. Huh? Rope swinging, however, huh? is not one of my moves. But <laughs> you go ahead. Oh, don't worry! Whoa! These platforms were built by Egyptians to last for huh? centuries! Huh? Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Made it! Oh boy, this is a lot of climbing. Whew. All right, uh, now what do I do? Incoming! And now for a nice calm landing. <laughs> nice and smooth. Uh, wait a second, if you had that thing the whole time, why'd you make me climb? Well, as you can see, this thing is clearly a death trap. What kind of responsible adult would I be if I let you use it? Don't worry, Ari. This next part is easy. Yeah, for who? You just have to use my newest invention. I call it a grappling hook. You didn't invent that. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's why Batman has one of those. Who's Batman? Is he the Frank Batman, the new English teacher? I guess I don't know. Never heard of him. Ugh, never mind. How do I use it? Just aim and throw. <laughs> Give it a try. Well, see so what I do? Just aim and throw? Just aim and throw. Here we go. Huh? Okay, so these things uh, collapse. Good to know. I don't know, is there a top to this thing? You're almost at the top, Ari! Either that or the concussion. You're almost at the top, Ari! Either that or the concussion is kicking in. Yeah, remind me to never go rock climbing again. Uh, I should be wearing gloves. Next time I bring sunscreen. Huh. Ah. Ah. Huh. 
How's it going, Ari? Almost there. Just a little cardio. Oh, I wish I had, you know, one of those, those flying thingies. Oh, man. It's nothing but desert. <sighs> Nari, not that way. Thank you. Whoa, we did it, Julius. The Valley of the Kings. Oh, you're right. We're close. We should start looking. <laughs> start looking? Uh, for what? Hello up there! Huh? Hello! Oh, it's a local! Our first contact with humans from another century! Wait a second, weren't you born in the 1900s? <laughs> How's it going up there? American? Ah, Salam, you are American, yes? <laughs> Uh, very astute. And you are? Egyptian. I was asking for his name. Magdi, at your service. <laughs> A Lionel Raventhorpe. This is Julius. <laughs> and that there's Ari Buktu. I help Americans cross the desert. Well, that is exactly what we need. Oh, I know. I have. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Magdi. <laughs> You're just delightful. Oh, Anything for Americans. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What do we need to cross the desert for? Well, to get to the Valley of the Queens, of course. Oh, yeah, Ari, to get to the Valley of the Queens. Is there something you're not telling me? <clears throat> to your and Khalifa, fastest camels in all the land. Ah, get us there before sunset. <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? <laughs> and, and what are you waiting for, Ari? Professor... Ari, don't you want to go on an adventure? But, 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 but home. Home will still be there when we get back. And the elevator? It'll be there too, and I'll fix it. I promise. <laughs> We're off to find the treasure! Wait, treasure? Okay, this is where I leave you. Wait, wait, wait. You're not gonna bring us in? Mm -mm. Bad luck for me to enter too. I go no further. But I hope I have done my duty well and you will, uh, pay me kindly? Uh, well, a slight hiccup on that, Magdi. We're not going to be able to pay you now. What? Uh, but we promise whatever we find inside that tomb that isn't the tiara is yours. Hmm, you don't pay me now, but you give me tomb treasures. <laughs> yes. Promise? Well, you have the word of Lionel Raventhorpe. Oh, who is that? That's me. Oh, hmm. Deal. Ha ha ha. are Khalifa, do you hear that? We will be rich, richest pastry merchant in all the land. Ha ha ha. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay, now let's Mashallah, find Mama that tiara. Ah, a big door. Oh, we gotta find a way through. <laughs> Where's a doorknob when you need one? Looks like you can break the door if you hit it hard enough. <sighs> Grapple and smash. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's how you smash a door. Oh, the path is blocked. 
Now we need to figure out how to get through it. Hey, look at that uh, column up there. Yeah, that's uh, that's convenient. Now see if you can get it to drop on that rubble below. Now that should clear the path. Just a couple of giant gaping holes. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Oh no, go ahead, Ari, it's fine. Risk certain death for extra credit. I'm gonna talk to the principal when I get back. I was not prepared for that. Whoa, this room is massive. It's everything and more. You know, we need to get across this chasm to that chamber. Just need to activate that bridge somehow. Look, up there. That's where you'll activate it. How come I'm doing all the work, Professor? Just a little cardio. You hear that? I think it's working. Uh, let me try that again. I gotta bust through there somehow. Professor, I've reached the top.
I have a question, Professor. Why does everyone call you, you know, Professor? Uh, cause I'm a professor? Yeah, but you teach high school science. Uh, no offense. Well, that's true. Okay, I was a professor. <laughs> It's official! I'm a genius! What happened? What happened? What happened? Well, just a little lab-related incident. Not a big deal. What, did they fire you or something? I like to think of it as kindly asked to take an extended leave of absence. All for a little stupid incident? That sounds like an overreaction. Yeah, that's what I said. Eh, although little is a relative term. Some might say it was a little more than little. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, how, do, how do I put this? I, um... Blew up the lab? You what? It was an accident. Early on in my attempts to build the elevator, Dynamite got away from me, and, uh, and boom. And so now you... Now I teach high school. It pays the bills and lets me work on my inventions. Minus the dynamite, I hope. Uh, sure. Huh. How's this supposed to work? What do you think those pressure plates are for? Huh. Huh. already took all of Nefertari's treasures. So, what does that mean? It's gone? Gone. Slipped through the cracks of history. Oh, if it's in anyone's possession, it's never been recorded. Oh, why? 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 Hmm? <laughs> oh, Julius. Wait. Oh, what's this? Looks like a compass. Didn't know Egyptians had these back then. They didn't. Not like this. This compass didn't belong to an Egyptian. 
So whose is it? Captain Edward Teach. Who? You know him by another name. Blackbeard. My boy, we're going pirate hunting! Where is the Tiana? Well, I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, big guy. No one takes a clue from Giovanni Battista Belzoni! Or Sarah Belzoni. Oh, yes, or Sarah, sorry. Or James Curtin! Come on, Jim Curtin, Big Jim, you know, assistant adventure to the great Baltimore. Curtis, nobody knows who you are. Oh, well, you, on the other hand, are the great Belzoni. <laughs> wow, it's an honor. Of course it is your honor. Uh, but, as you can see, someone already ransacked the tomb. You're too late, the tiara is gone. Oh, it is never too late for the great Belzoni. For you, however, this is the end. Yeah! Uh, guys, we gotta get out of here! Oh! Ah! Ah! The Game. These guys are relentless! <laughs> <laughs>